And General Motors recently announced it will close 2,600 dealerships nationwide as part of a government-ordered restructuring. That news has created a nervous waiting game at many Kentucky GM dealerships. But our Denny Trees found a Clark County outlet whose owner simply refuses to worry. It is tonight's focus on the economy. Mike Wilson Chevrolet Buick Pontiac GMC is not one of the many bluegrass GM dealerships playing the waiting game. Mike has two grown children and five grandchildren. He's proud of his customer satisfaction record, and he's ready for whatever happens. We've strived to do the right things for the last 15 years, and uh, based on my faith in God, I think that uh, with that record and so forth, General Motors will be wanting us to be here and representing them. You might think that small town dealerships like Mike's here in Winchester would be in greater jeopardy than larger ones in Louisville and Lexington, but... My overhead percentage-wise is probably the same as it is a major dealership in Lexington uh, or Louisville or anywhere. So as long as I keep my overhead in place, my profitability stays intact anyway. You try and do the right thing. Uh, we don't need to be selfish about any of this. And hopefully that attitude wins out. It transfers over to our customers and the ones that have done business with us just keep coming back. Adam Everman was in a near-fatal accident two years ago and said if he recovered enough to drive again, the one thing he wanted was a brand-new Camaro. And today Mike Wilson handed him the keys to his dream car. It, it actually brought tears to my eyes, uh, because it, not because we were selling an automobile, but uh, the sheer fact that he was able to focus on getting better and then having what his dreams were. Now if only Mike Wilson's business could make a similar recovery. In Clark County, Denny Trees, WKYT, 27 News First. Well, with the economy still affecting most Americans in a negative way, Wilson admits his business is down 52% from this time last year.